Happy Halloween, Connor. Yeah, I don't really have any costume-like things around here. The monocle's the best I got. Yep. Here, you're allowed to wear costumes to class, because, I mean, who cares? There weren't as many people dressed up this year, at least that I saw, compared to last year. But you see some weird things. I saw a few morph suits. There was one that was like a tuxedo morph suit where instead of just being a color, it was, well, tuxedo, tuxedo-y. I walked into my hall and I saw three people just standing in the lobby, one with a horse head, one with an elephant head, and one with a miscellaneous animal head that I could not identify. I saw what I believe was a peacock a very elaborate ghost costume, like a princess ghost thing. A girl dressed as Snooky. That may not have been a costume, that may have been just what she looks like, you really don't know. I don't really know how I feel about Halloween. I'm kind of indifferent because I'm too old to trick or treat, obviously. Well, I guess I could if I really wanted to, but I might get some weird looks. Or I just have to find a child to take and then steal their candy. That is a horrible thought. I'm kind of upset that it's Halloween really because Halloween means it's the end of October which means it's November which means it's no shave November I swear whoever invented that if I could I would go back in time and find the person who invented no shave November and somehow scientifically alter their something or other so they can't grow facial hair so they will never invent no shave November that's how it's gonna happen but no shave November here is pretty bad. I mean, northern Wisconsin, well, central Wisconsin still, it's north compared to Milwaukee. It's, there. there's a lot of guys that participate, but it may be worse in high school because you have all these guys who can't grow facial hair, who are trying to, so you got these weird little scruffy things running around the high school with little patches of hair on their face or just a couple hairs sticking out of their chins or something weird like that. It's just, it's just not an attractive time. There'll be a handful who can grow the beard. But then in college, obviously, all the guys here are old enough to grow some sort of facial hair. So there are just guys everywhere that are just like, meh, beard. It's like, that's just not attractive. Stop it. It's just horrible. I don't, ugh. Like, maybe if it was clean or tamed facial hair. No, they don't. They could at least stand to trim it. Nope, they just... They let it grow. No Shave November is the worst concept. It is just another reason for me to dislike November. It's cold. There's hairy men everywhere. I am going to declare that there are a very limited number of people who are allowed to have beards. One, Santa. He can have a beard. Two, Dumbledore and Gandalf. Abe Lincoln can have a beard. The guys from ZZ Top can have beards. Generally, non-smoking biker guys can have beards. Not the women though, that's, that, that's a little much. The reason I say non-smoking is, I don't want to be the one liable when biker guy's sitting there smoking and his beard starts on fire and he's just running around with his face on fire. And finally, billy goats can have beards. I. Hope to see you dressed in a silly costume to compensate for the lack of my silly costumes for your next video. I will see you next time, Connor.